In this video, I'll talk about subsequent integration technique IDOX. To dig deep into IDOC technology, we need to understand some terms like ALE, EDI, IDOC. Let's talk about them briefly. IDOX uses asynchronous communication mode and can work with both inbound and outbound integrations. IDOC stands for Intermediate Document. We use IDOX when we want to exchange information between a SAP system or an external system. For example, we can use IDOX to extend master data, transaction data, control data. IDOC is nothing but a data container to exchange information between two processes or systems. Ideally, an IDOC contains three main segments. Control segment containing the control information for message routing. Application segment containing application data. Status segment for keeping track of IDOC processing status. SAP has provided many standard IDOCs which can cover most of the customer needs. But one can extend the current standard IDOC or create a new IDOC types for data integration. As I said earlier, IDOC is just a data container. But to extend the information with other systems, it needs a transportation layer that handles the transportation, monitoring and performance. For this, we need ALE, which is a proprietary SAP technology. ALE stands for Application Linking Enabling. We can create and run distributed applications using ALE, which supports loosely coupled integrations. Let's take an example. In the below example, we have a sending system and a receiving system. And the sending system is trying to send a mass data to the receiver. As a prerequisite, we must first configure ALE in the sender system and ALE in the receiving system. This layer acts as a communication medium between these two systems. And this layer takes care of routing of the message from sender to receiver and the state management and monitoring of the IDOCs. Generally, ALE can be used for IDOC exchange between two SAP systems. But when you plan to integrate SAP system and a non-SAP system for data exchange, you need to use EDI, which stands for Electronic Data Interchange. The difference between ALE and EDI is, normally we refer EDI technology when a non-SAP system is one of the communication channel. ALE communication occurs from SAP side and EDI communication happens from non-SAP side. IDOX uses ALE and EDI to deliver the data to the receiving system. If the data needs to be exchanged between two SAP systems, then IDOC and ALE technology is enough. For the exchange of data between SAP and non-SAP, IDOC uses EDI subsystem to convert and deliver the data. Here, EDI subsystem takes care of converting IDOC to EDI message. Let's have a quick recap quiz. Can you provide an example for standard IDOC type for master data and a transaction data? Which one of the below is an IDOC type and a message type? What are the T codes for IDOC monitoring? Let me know your feedback and answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching.